Lauren, ensemble member of Core Productions, and this is our live show, Lab OM 2.0 Act 4. Please take a moment and subscribe to this channel, like this video, ring the bell, and share it. Even though tonight is the last performance of Bohem 2.0, it is not our last ever live online opera. You can join us in the fall for our next production, Don Giovanni, Mozart's classic reimagined for the digital age. In lieu of ticket cost, which would benefit the company directly, we ask that you instead donate to the individual artists. That information can be found in the description below, but if you have any questions, please reach out to moderator and friend extraordinaire Emily Cox in the chat. Any questions can also be sent to Joanna, but will be answered later at joannamoffitt.core at gmail.com. We'd like to share a synopsis of this act for those who are new to this story. Marcello and Rodolfo are alone in their apartment, working on painting and writing respectively. Rodolfo reveals he's run into Musetta recently and that she looked like a queen in her finery. Marcello tells Rodolfo that he's run into Mimi. Rodolfo and Marcello return to their work but can't seem to focus on their task when faced with the memory of their former lovers. They lament their loss. Rodolfo exclaims he's surprised Chenard hasn't come back yet and then suddenly he appears. Chenard doesn't have any supplies this time around, and when Coline arrives, the quartet pretends to have big plans in spite of their empty pantry. Chenard says he has a ball to attend. Coline says that the king has called him to be a trusted advisor. Chenard suggests that they all dance, to which everyone agrees. They prepare their apartment, and Coline proposes a quadrille, which he and Chenard accompany. Rodolfo offers his hand to Marcello, and Marcello blushingly agrees to be led in the dance. Coline wants to change it up, and Chenard disagrees, and they duke it out. Suddenly, Musetta bursts in, saying that Mimi is there but can't make it up the stairs. Rodolfo and Marcello run out to get her. Musetta tells Marcello that Mimi left the Viscount to return to Rodolfo, knowing that the end was near. Mimi looks at all of them, saying that she suddenly feels better knowing she was with them. Musetta quietly asks the gang what they have in their house, but Marcello reveals that they have nothing to offer. Mimi wishes for a muff for her hands. She wonders if they'll ever warm up again. She turns and suddenly says hello to Marcello, Chenard, and Coline, happy to see them. Rodolfo asks her to stay quiet and rest. She tells him not to worry and asks if he'll stay by her side while she naps. Musetta and Marcello, in a moment of sweet redemption, decide to go get medicine and the muff for Mimi. Coline, moved by all of this, gives a heartfelt goodbye to his truest companion, his best coat. He and Chenard leave to sell it to bring a doctor for Mimi. Rodolfo is left alone with Mimi, feeling helpless. Mimi quietly awakes and says she wanted to be alone with him because she has something very important to say to him. Rodolfo is her one true love and the only thing in her life that matters. Rodolfo, deeply moved, calls Mimi beautiful as the dawn. She says he got it wrong, that he should have said as beautiful as the sunset. They reminisce about their first time meeting in the apartment and how they looked for her keys in the dark. Mimi reveals that she knew he found them right away and Rodolfo says he was just trying to help along their destiny. Mimi devolves into a fit of coughing, and one by one, all of the friends return. Musetta gives Mimi the beautiful muff, and Mimi, happy that her hands can now be warm, quietly falls asleep. Musetta says a quiet prayer for Mimi, and Chenard notices that Mimi has passed. He tells Marcello, and Coline returns and asks Rodolfo how Mimi is doing. He catches Marcello's eye, and Marcello tells him to have courage. We end the opera in Rodolfo's heartbreak. And now, please enjoy Act 4 of Lab OM 2.0. Cheers. I need space bar. Mi son trudendo, oh, 
Ella di sì, e il cuore non batte, o oh, non lo sento. Grazie al veluto che copre, c'è un gusto da te, c'è un gusto da te. Due ore, ma i roli e i non batte bene. E ora sia l'ore del pranzo di ieri. E sonor non torna. Eccoci, e ben, e ben, e il pan. La torello di la nostra, una ringa, arata, il pranzo in tavola, taglia da me l'ingaggio. Or lo champagne mettiamo in ghiaccio. Grazie, 
bing bing loa stasera und ballo. Fretta, il re ma sfretta. Qualche drama, qualche mistero. Qualche mistero. Qualche mistero. Il re mi chiama il mistero. Bene, bene. Porgimi il nappo, si peri io nappo. Mi sia permesso il nobile consesso. Basta, per le porte del mondo. Mi ispira irresistibile l'estro della romanza. No, no, no. Azione coreografica allora. La danza con musica vocale si sgombrino le sale.
Cristia, cerca, cerca, la vengo passar per via. Trascinandosi a stento, mi dice, più non reggo, poi lo sento. Voglio morir con lui, forse mi aspetta.
rondine cinque. ha detto il medico era Madonna benedetta fate la grazia a questa poveretta 
Spero ancora, vi pare che sia grave. Non credo. Marcello, è sfidata. Musetta, a voi. Come va? Vedi? È tranquilla. Che vuol dire? Quale andare e venire? Quel guardarmi così... Raggio! Oh, man. I love you guys so much. You <laughs> too. Thank you for joining us this evening. <laughs> <clears throat> Acting act four of Lab OM 2.0. Uh, my deepest gratitude to this amazing cast, to Bernard Holcomb as Rodolfo, to Nick Ward as Shonard, to Lauren Berman as Musetta, to Andrew Wanigman as Marcello, to Dave Guffertson as Colline, and to my incredible music staff, to Jim Welch, our music director, and to our technical director, Elijah Lee. Thank you guys from the bottom of my heart. And I'm Joanna. <laughs> I forgot to <laughs> Thank you, Joanna. <laughs> Bravo. Thank you, Joanna. I'm gonna have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, how does feel? Oh. I feel emotionally drained. I didn't even do any acting, so. <laughs> yeah. You had to put on that beautiful shirt. I'm sure that was. Mm. It's okay. I'm not wearing pants. Oh, everyone <laughs> loved it. I call that pandemic formal. Yes. <laughs> Don't do it, y'all. Uh, oh, Elizabeth Williams is your biggest fan, Bernard. Me too, Elizabeth. I agree. He's amazing. Bernard, you're muted. Oh, that's crazy. How did I get muted all of a sudden? <laughs> you're muted again. Okay. I love you, Miss Liz. Yes, <laughs> Everybody's not. Who's Oh, I forgot. I brought um, I brought so 
my best friend for opening night gave me this beautiful cuvee rosé. I'm going to open this one. <laughs> It'll match your hat. Cheers. I'm just going to eat this bread that I started eating during <laughs> Colleen <and> Zaria. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect time to eat. I'm going to open a nice, cool bottle of orange juice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. It's the, this is the best innovative production. Thank you, Mr. Welch. Um, Corey says he's impressed with our talent, drive, and innovation. And uh, Rosemary Nielsen, incredible performances, and loves having the drama with the orchestration. <laughs> Jim. Jim made some magic happen. Yeah, uh, true. Was, I feel you, like you all, all made some magic happen. That's, it's really um. Thank yeah. you. You all did amazing. Uh, it's an. I'm get, uh, yeah, Jim. Go ahead. I was oh, just gonna. Said, I'm, I'm getting texts that say bravo. It was bravo. an honor to work with all of you. I, I I really mean that. Likewise. Ditto. Yeah. It's fun. <laughs> Thanks to all who watched and yes. commented and supported us it's been quite the journey these last few weeks it has mm -hmm. yeah. um ah, bernard good point or your dad said <laughs> what's the yeah. next one so um we decided that tomorrow in chicago is a black lives matter po protest so we decided to move our watch party to next weekend instead so take a look on monday we'll post uh when everything is happening <coughs> and um and then oh and we're gonna watch the entire show yes so, stay tuned for that it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be lit <laughs> um i mean yeah <laughs> and then uh in the fall well actually first is emily's show um sometime in july right Anne? and then in the <laughs> Sorry, Sam was like, what am I going to do on Fridays now? Well, you know, like like any any great TV show, what do you do in the off seasons? You watch the reruns. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Just click the link and watch it again. Oh, <laughs> we got four of them. <laughs> and there's three watch parties. If you haven't watched those yet, they're fantastic. Uh, the first one, we, we introduced Lauren. That was super fun. The second one, I was with Craig Trumpeter of Haymarket Opera, and he talked about, like, orchestra. Uh -oh. And then... So, the, okay. What? You, 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 you lost your sound for a second. <sighs> and then the third one was with uh, with Nils, and we talked about... Um, we talked about the missing act. So that was cool. <laughs> it's like... DVD commentaries, but better because yeah, because we're fun. Yeah, because it's alive. <laughs> we're more fun. That too. Yeah. Very and unscripted. and it just made me realize how much Joanna needs her own podcast on her channel. So I'm gonna talk her into doing that. Awesome. Yes. Pressure, you guys. <laughs> no pressure. Just saying it live in front of a bunch of people. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This wasn't my plan all along. <laughs> How is doing a podcast less terrifying than doing an opera? I yeah, that's what I'm that's what I'm thinking. I thought that would be like easy peasy. I mean, I actually think it is too, but I think other people watching this will be like, but you just like saying your oh, face no, off I... in a very vulnerable way. <laughs> it's way more terrifying. <laughs> Can't hide behind a character in a right. podcast. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, and a script. She could, yeah. but it would be a little harder to do. It would be very <laughs> awkward. Like, yeah. no, I'm not Joanna during this podcast. I'm Mimi. Yeah. I'm going to die halfway through. It's okay. Uh, do we have any questions? I don't think I saw any. I, I don't see any questions tonight. So many wonderful compliments. Everyone's yeah. saying thank you. Thank you, everybody. To the podcast. All right, Elijah, I guess we have to do this. Yes. You don't like my next videos, Elijah? I, I love them, but you know so many interesting people. I thought it would be nice to have them on and talk to them. You're right. You're Um, do I have any questions tonight? Any questions from the audience? I think everyone's I just in question. awe. <laughs> We're 
crying. Two. Yeah. What was it like to prepare for this act without being in the same room for you guys? I think this was the hardest act, honestly. Why? This was the hardest act, honestly. Why? Um, I just felt like normally when you're in the room, you can really play physical angles and spacing really well, especially when Mimi comes in. Um, whereas this, we're kind of fixed in one spot. So I really tried to make a point to watch the video and really kind of play <coughs> with not looking in a direction where that person was if I was upset and, you know, wanted to show emotion because I don't want to show them that emotion, you know. Um, so. You know, if I could add to that too, when you said, I try to watch the video. I, I don't know if everyone knows that. Oh, the dress um, rehearsal. We, yeah, yeah, yeah. We 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 do all of uh, um, all of our rehearsals are on a private stream so that we can all watch them later, and uh, review before the next rehearsal. You know, interaction and just make sure the music's going well. Everything. Yeah, it's such an amazing thing to have not only a recording. We record all of our rehearsals, so you can always go back and listen or watch. But then we also have this amazing recording of the entire act, <laughs> which is yeah. just such a wonderful thing that you don't usually get in opera. So it's such a mm -hmm. great thing to practice with. <laughs> uh, and it's great because we have a recording of me singing the full aria Donde Vieta. And <laughs> <laughs> we yeah, can splice too. that into the... <laughs> yeah, it, 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 um, this is my favorite act. And... It's definitely a bonus to be able to go back and review after each rehearsal. And it's a perfect way, it's been a perfect way to work on on-camera work because we're right here, like 12 inches from the camera as opposed to being in a theater where there are thousands of people and our, and our reactions have to be so huge. But the camera catches every little nuance. So it's been awesome to practice that. And I love this act too, because in the beginning of act four, it's reminded that like we're young and like we're still like, beautiful and having fun and guys and then all of a sudden it just flips on a dime so you kind of give this enjoyment and then the fact that it flips so drastically really like pulls it in so much stronger i think yeah well i mean i like this act because i get an aria but even if it's only 90 <laughs> seconds <laughs> well i mean puccini Puccini wrote like all this great stuff for tenors and sopranos. You, you, even a couple of nice mezzo parts, but there's there's not a whole lot. I mean, it's the only Puccini aria I sing, so it's it's, it's nice, it's a beautiful little moment. It is. <laughs> this time I got to hear it. <laughs> yeah. Um, Sam asked why we didn't get a curtain at the end of the show, which is something I I was you know thinking about with talking to her <laughs> i mean um, i, I could have had one really yes i could have had that set up just be like just take this and slowly like would it just be a <laughs> <laughs> would it just be a dark back from the dead and just... <laughs> oh god <laughs> Would it just be a dark screen like the end of The Sopranos? No, I could have actually like had an actual like curtain close on everyone. Oh, I'm on Eliza. What, what can you not do? God. I mean, maybe like a fade out would be cool. Oh, that yeah. would have been super awesome. Okay, Donnie next G. Time. Next time I know. Next time I know. I can do transitions. I can do anything. Honest, like the, the, the reason is because like the I was dead and I was like, how can I make my screen dark if I'm like... You're like... <laughs> you know, um, like um, Dorian did in Act the Two mouse. when he left the room, he had a, his wireless mouse with him. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah, that was amazing. He's, he's such a genius. Yeah. Uh, right, the boxes move on the screen. Somebody says, "Yeah, they're doing a Zoom, and then the boxes move." Mm -hmm. So yeah, oh. that's definitely something we have to coordinate. And that's again why we watch because we're like. Yeah. And Johanna sets it up and like gives us our blocking or staging being like, okay, at this point you exit. So that way we get this order of this, 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 and this. Um, and then it works out. Cause what we see on zoom is different from what we get on the YouTube as well. So. Right. You guys are watching Elijah's. You, it sounded like you were saying something complimentary towards me. So I'm going to need to repeat it. Cause you cut out. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, I was saying that we're watching uh, your your stream, Elijah. Ours, and that's why it looks different to us. Like I'm always in the center, mm -hmm. you know, watching my Zoom, but. Yeah, I yeah. So I'm always in the center of mine. So I disappear most of the time and just like uh, I'm gone. And then I come back. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Peekaboo. Yeah, Joanna, you did an awesome makeup job. You look really like sick. I do a lot of recent. You look sick. <laughs> My gosh, Nick! I didn't get to tell you I loved you your hands, so your little like. Yes! <laughs> it was, I meant to say something too. It's so good. So good. I know. I, I was just, like, what am I going to do for this little, little ballo moment? Uh, you know, whatever. <laughs> I, I just caught Dave's guitar for the first time tonight. I didn't oh, even realize. Yes. Like that? Ben, yeah, it was awesome. The guitar. Ben's inflatable guitar, carnival guitar. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I thought it'd be fun if they were fighting over the music and not the dance, because the dance, the dances are so antiquated that they're hard for us to relate to. You guys really went with that. That was so fun. <laughs> good time. Oh, Marianne figured out the comments. Thank you, Marianne. <laughs> she was having My trouble getting on the comments. Me. Marianne, hey. <laughs> um, oh yeah. Lauren, did you pass me the mask tonight? I could yes, have did. I she did. <laughs> me and Jim were commenting on it, we actually. This is the hardest thing. So I am learning through this that I'm such a kinesthetic person that that's the one thing. Like, in general, I like having this smaller, intimate space. But with little stupid stuff like props or, like, muting my microphone, if I haven't done it physically enough times, it just doesn't happen. So that's hard. Yeah, it's definitely, like... I set up like an hour before to be like, okay, what's the most optimal setup for all these props on this table <laughs> to grab and being like, okay, do I have to reach over to grab that one? Or is it like right here? Sorry, I'm laughing because Sam said that twerking was also an option. You could have used. <laughs> oh, missed opportunity. It was. My mom like, texted me and said she cried. So uh, Andrew. <laughs> Sell those tickets, baby. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my Venmo's oh, down below. All of our Venmos and cash apps. And Only fans are starting up next week. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I mean, if we're twerk twerking for cash, I mean. <laughs> can we still get Elijah? Elijah? Can we still get unemployment if that's? Sure. Uh, I got a big booty. <laughs> So if you come to the watch party next week, we're going to have a twerk off during intermission. <laughs> I, I mean, I want to watch that. <laughs> no, we, we as a cast are going to do that. I, there's literally a video that my roommate loves to share of me upside down twerking on a wall. So I might just oh. show that. Okay. All right. I might win, yeah. you guys. Yeah, no, like there's no contest <laughs> now. <laughs> sounds like I need to like watch YouTube tutorials. <laughs> <laughs> Study up. <laughs> I love a room full of opera singers talking about twerking. <laughs> this is a groundbreaking show. <laughs> yeah. But in all seriousness, Break in if the you'd seventh like wall. to donate to the cast or to our technicians <laughs> or our musicians, uh, please, please check out. Uh, Emily can help you with that in the chat. Check out because we love opera and we felt well I did it because I felt sad about potentially not being able to sing with other people for months so you know that or leave it for what it is I don't know <laughs> wait okay oh my god Sam said can the next watch party be twerk for cash good job you guys TBD. Oh, okay, perfect. <laughs> what's uh, what's everybody's next project individually? Does anyone have something coming up? Um, I do, I guess. Um, yeah. I'm currently uh, one of my other jobs that I do. I am currently investigating a uh, to find out who the first uh black female game developer is. Uh, 
had a lead in the case. I actually spoke to someone who potentially the person that's mystery, missing from history books and working on getting them out there. Nice. So that's the awesome. project that I'm working on. <clears throat> Love that. Oh. Uh, not only do I sing, but I also do some motivational speaking online at Damon Speaks on Instagram Aww. and Facebook. Tomorrow, Damon Speaks live on Instagram live and Facebook live. Look me up. It's at 5 o'clock tomorrow. It's so good. <laughs> Eastern time. <laughs> Eastern. <laughs> Elijah and I are producing um, Emily's one woman show, which is super fun. Uh, my new company, Progressive Musicians, is auditioning pianists, violinists, and gar guitarists. Deadline is June 1st, and you could win an opportunity to perform in Carnegie Hall. Uh, ProgressiveMusicians.com. Deadline is Monday. I'm just adopting plants from people who move out of the city, which is sad, but it's also bringing me some joy. Nice. And practicing my scoring in the bread, so, yeah. Nice. You're doing an amazing job with, with the bread. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would be into that. <laughs> um, <laughs> My dad just texted me that they're <laughs> that they're what? They're proud of us. Oh, sweet. Thanks. <laughs> I've been getting written letters as well. You guys, I've got wow. cards. Wait, how do they have your address? <laughs> I don't give it out just to anyone. <laughs> um, but. But uh, I will share some of those with you guys. Just take pictures and send them to you. I think when they just love you so much, they just find you. <laughs> that sounds... No, no, no. That's yeah. creepy, Jim. Yeah, that's creepy. I was going to say. <laughs> well, where do all the famous stars live in Hollywood? We could find that out. No. Where does John Moffat live? <laughs> some people don't do online payment stuff, and so mm. I was happy to, to give them Aww. my address to send a check and Sure. Y'all reap the benefits from some of that, so it's cool. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Thanks, everyone. Everyone's amazing. Uh, Joanne, are you saying something? Because we can't hear you. Oh, no. Sorry. Um, someone commented that everything's canceled, which is... Accurate. Yeah. Yeah, Accurate. Yeah. Except for us. We're still here, and That's we just great. put on, like, four amazing shows and see you guys next weekend when we put them together and watch them all, and then probably more tears and things like that. Yeah, I plan on crying the entire time, so enjoy that. <laughs> I'm excited. Tune in to watch Joanna cry. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone else twerk. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, I guess... <laughs> She's going to cry because everyone's twerking. <laughs> oh, my God. No. Um, I guess we're saying good night. Good night. Thank you all. Bye. Bye, Bye stream. Bye. Great job. And we are done. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>